Hello friends, starting current affairs from 7th of May to 13th of May 2017. Current affairs and newspaper updates with me Vijay Anand. Starting with international news first. Russia has blocked, uh, pardon me, Russia has blocked uh, Chinese social media, WeChat. Uh, the thing is that uh, there were some apprehensions in Russia that the Chinese are intervening and uh, they are taking away the information which are very secretive for the Russia. So that is why they have blocked it. Emmanuel Macron has become uh, president of France. Actually, the thing is that he was an independent con candidate and he is the youngest uh, since Napoleon. He is only 39 years old. He got 65.2% votes and he defeated Le Pen who belongs to uh, she is a lady and uh, she belongs to Front National Party. Actually the thing is that uh, Macron is very liberal and uh, the liberal democratic ideas have to be propagated around France and that is why its victory is important for those who want peace in the world and not uh, jingoism and uh, ultra-nationalism. Le Pen was of the opinion that migrants should leave the France. World Laughter Day is celebrated on May the 7th. It actually took place on every first Sunday of May and this year it took place on 7th May. US and Jordan conducted a joint military exercise and the name of the military exercise is Eager Lion. China started its uh, Belt and Road Initiative and they are reviving the old uh, Silk Route actually and they are connecting uh, countries up to Hungary, Latvia, Serbia, Herzegovina etc. and all the Gulf countries and all uh, the countries around the Pacific Belt uh, through land, rail, air and sea routes. Uh, the initiative was formerly known as One Belt One Road OBOR and now the new name is BRI Belt Road Initiative uh, 1700 projects uh, have to be started and the total cost of the projects is 100 billion US dollar and uh, China is thinking that by investing 100 billion dollars they will uh, get 2.5 trillion dollar with the trade Brazil declared itself uh, Zika emergency free Zika as you know an epidemic uh, disease which is spread around uh, the world and now primarily in Zika disease was in Brazil and now they have declared themselves Zika emergency free. Coming uh, to the national news now, uh, Mission Indutrust is a scheme of government of India and they have started it uh, to give the vaccine uh, for all the children in the country. Government has launched a new application for uh, a detection of all the tuberculosis uh, diagnosis and records so that they can easily diagnose the patient and treat them through e-detection. A new app has been launched. Uh, government is starting six national waterways and the first national waterway that is NW1 is from Haldia to Allahabad. Uh, it is 1620 kilometers. A lot of jetties and cargoes will be made on the route. And uh, for this 4.2 billion rupees has been given by World Bank. Uh, center is launching e-guide for uh, tourists so that they can see all the artifacts and sculptures of the museum and any historical building at very cheaper price and uh, they are going to connect uh, all these facilities via intranet. Bharat Ke Veer is a website and app uh, which has been uh, started by government of India and it is a fundraising exercise for the soldiers by government of India. Boat ambulances facilities has been started in Odisha and in phase one they have started four boats. Actually the thing is that uh, there were a lot of uh, there are a lot of areas in Odisha which are not connected by road and uh, waterway is the best way to reach there. So that is why Odisha government has taken this initiative. Eighth head of missions HOM conference held at Delhi and the theme was effective diplomacy, excellent delivery. The point was that 120 Indian boys uh, who are working around the world took place in this four day conference uh, for proper licensing and understanding the world affairs. 
सेंटर हैज स्टार्टेड टू रिवाइव लॉस्ट रिवर सरस्वती विच यूज टू फ्लो फ्रॉम एज पर माइथोलॉजी फ्रॉम हरियाणा राजस्थान and then passed on to uttar pradesh and merged with ganga and jamuna at prayag and uh, the total cost uh, of the project is 48000 crore rupees and uh, all the money will be sanctioned under manrega a uh, project lotus hr has been started by government of india and uh, it has been started to clean the sewage system and the full form of lotus hr is local treatment of urban sewage streams for healthy reuse and uh, neither government is granting 1470000 euros for this project lotus hr from may 8th to 12th 156th birth anniversary of gurudev ravindranath tagore will be celebrated in cairo egypt government is funding it and propagating ideas of uh, gurudev ravindranath tagore around the world this is a project of that world's tallest bridge is uh, opening at uh, it is joining katra to banihal and it is uh, opening over river chenab it is 1.3 km long and the total cost is 1200 1200 crore rupees it is 10 times taller than kutub minar and uh, the project will be finished before uh, sorry by march 2019 Air India is uh, starting direct flight to three US cities Stockholm Tel Aviv and Nairobi Stockholm is capital of Sweden as you know and Nairobi is capital of Kenya Tel Aviv is in Israel Memorandum of uh, corporation has been signed by Andhra Pradesh government with Iowa State University of USA as you might know that there are a lot of aspirants in Andhra Pradesh who wish to do engineering and after finishing engineering they want to settle in America Iowa University State University is providing them full facilities for that they are providing them knowledge sessions as well Udan Air Fares as you might know that Udan Desh ka aam naam aam nagrik a scheme by government of india and they have said that they will revise the fares after each 3 months national technological day held at delhi on march 11th and theme for this year was technology for inclusive and sustainable growth election commission has said that they are starting uh, a toll free phone number 18001119500 and on this uh, phone number anybody can lodge their uh, complaint related to election commission or malpractice in election procedure then spider is surface to air quick reaction missile this is a technology given by israel and uh, it has been tested successfully from balasore food gain production for 2016 17 as per government uh, figure was 273.38 million tons pneumococcal conjugate vaccine which is called pcv in short form has been included in universal immunization program and in the first phase government has initiated to give a vaccine to all the kids in harmachal pradesh bihar and uttar pradesh e krishi samvad is online interface for farmers started by government of india starting with economy and business news now torrent has bought uh, through its arm regestron and uh, pregachiv uh, novartis in india pharma companies both are as per imf indian economy is set to grow in 2018-19 at the rate of 7.7% international monetary fund has said so
Birla Birla's Novelis has sold 50% of its stake in its Korean unit Kobe Steels for 350 million and the new joint venture is called uh, Ulsan Aluminium Limited. Flipkart is going to purchase Snapdeal very soon. National Highway Authority of India has uh, issued Masala Bond in London Stock Exchange and their plan is to extract out uh, 5000 crore rupees. Masala Bond is bond in stock exchanges where local currency runs for India. In, in Indian case it is rupees. Uh, Hyundai and Kia are recalling 2,40,000 cars around the world for safety concerns. There is some error in code and they are going to revive it. Some persons uh, who hit the headlines this week. Leila Seth, who was uh, the first woman judge of Delhi court, High Court, uh, died at the age of 86. The point is that uh, she is also mother of noted uh, author-writer Vikram Seth, who wrote The Suitable Boy. Ismail Haniya is the new chief of Hamas. Hamas is an organization of Palestine and Gaza. Chairman of Coffee Bold is Mr. M. S. Boje Gowda. Recently he has been elected. Ustad Raiz Khan, famous sitar player who belonged to Mewati Gharana, died recently. Uh, after the partition, sometime, for some years he lived in India, then went to Pakistan and played good sitar in movies, particularly of Madan Mohan. Songs like Bani Banyana Dharo. At the age of 78, he died. Sohil Mahmood will be new ambassador of Pakistan in India. And the man who is going out is Abdul Basit. Nisaba Godrej will be executive chairperson of GCPL, that is Godrej Consumer Products Limited. She is daughter of uh, Adi Godrej. Shashank Manohar will remain uh, Chief of ICC International Cricket Council till 2018. Moon Jae is the new President of South Korea. Sanjay Mitra is new Defence Secretary of India. And the man who is going out is G. Mohan Kumar. James B. Comey has been condemned to resign due to differences with Donald Trump. He was a chief of FBI. Arjun Maini is a 19 Indian, 19 years old test driver of Haas Formula One team. Car racing. Then V K Saraswat is new chancellor of Jawaharlal Nehru University. Stan Watson, who invented uh, cartoon character GI Joe, cartoon toy for boys. As you might know, at the age of 84, he died in USA. It is said that uh, more than 10 million G.I. Joe toys sold in USA alone. WHO Goodwill Ambassador for Hepatitis in Southeast Asia is uh, Amitabh Bachchan. Justice Mudgal will be member of FIFA Governing Committee. He uh, investigated the IPL uh, bribery scandal also in India and it's an achievement for India that uh, now in FIFA panel an Indian judge is going to be included. Hubert Menes will, is the new Prime Minister of Bahamas. He belonged to Free National Party and uh, the man who lost the election uh, is uh, going out also is uh, Perry Christie and he belonged to Progressive Liberal Party. Some places uh, which were in news recently. In Delhi, Integrated Transport and Logistics Summit took place, ITLS. In Glasgow, World Badminton Championship will took place from August 21st to 27th. Some awards. Asian Award at London has been given to Dr. Jack Prager, uh, who is pavement doctor at Kolkata. He has done a lot of work for uh, persons who are living on pavement, have given them money 
treated them etc some important books why gandhi still matters an appraisal of the mahatma legacy is the book uh, written by his great great grandson rajmohan gandhi women who work is the book written by ivanka trump on balance is autobiography of leela seth who died recently also some sports news now asian boxing championship finished at tashkent and there india finished with two silver and two bronze sumit sangwan and shiv thapa won silver for india in sultan azlan shah hockey tournament which finished at ipoh in malaysia great britain came first australia was second and india was third at asian wrestling championship in delhi it took place from 10th to 14th of may international table tennis series in the brazil open hugo calderano of brazil defeated a amal raj of india Asian Athletics Championship will be in Bhubaneswar and the logo for this summit will be only the turtle it's a uh, engendered turtle found in odisha and uh, chief minister patnayak want to have pe- make people aware of its uh, habitat and protection inter unit badminton championship and there in the male category ongc defeated bpcl and in female bpcl defeated ongc julian goswami has become number 1 wicket taker in female one day international cricket she has taken now his her tally is now 181 wicket and she achieved this feat against uh, south africa nba has opened its academy national basketball association the top most basketball league of the world has opened its first academy in india in greater noida and uh, six can wear headgear and fiba that is a uh, basketball association of the world has given go ahead that now six can also participate in all the tournaments of the world with headgear inter unit badminton championship there in the final male category saurav verma of ongc was the winner and in female rituparna das of ongc was the winner please like the channel share the channel and subscribe the channel it is my humble request to you please like it share it subscribe it thank you very much you are watching this presentation on vyanand master mix thank you very much